Hello, my name is Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. Today we're going to be covering a, um, another native tree. Um, uh, today's one is uh, Mahui, okay, or otherwise known as uh, Whitey Wood. Uh, it's one of the uh, most important trees that we have in uh, New Zealand or Aotearoa and um, the reason for that is it's used for making fire uh, in the old days. Uh, mahui is a uh, soft, soft wood and um, it was rubbed, it was used on the bottom, bottom slab as the bottom piece of wood and uh, harder woods were used on the top uh, such as uh, Tōtara um, or Kaikomako. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get straight into it. Okay, so behind me here, um, I'm in uh, Weymouth, Auckland at the moment, on Weymouth Beach, and um, this is a uh, young shoot of the uh, mahui. Okay, uh, the leaves are basically... Um, they're sort of jagged, they've got sort of um, like like teeth on them, okay? Um, I'll try and come down here. Uh, they've got like teeth on them, okay, as you can see. Um, but they're not sharp teeth, okay? They're not sharp teeth. They're just sort of, yeah, they're, they're not sharp at all, okay? Um, Mahui is uh, quite um, dark, darkish. Uh, green leaves and um, they're sort of spear shaped okay if I can come out a bit they're sort of spear shaped almost all right um, underneath them okay this is what it looks like underneath them okay it's a little bit lighter but uh, nothing too major and the leaves are on the uh, stems are alternate which means basically if I can get in here um, the alternate, so you have uh, you have one leaf come off the stem, and then you come up a bit. You have another leaf come off the stem. You carry on up. You have another one. So that's called alternate. Um, other leaves on other plants and trees, it, you can have them opposite, and that means you have one coming off this way and another one shooting off um, right opposite it. Okay, but this one, these mahui is. Uh, uh, alternate leaves. Okay, how that's another way of distinguishing the uh, tree itself. Okay, is it's also by its other name, it's also called whitey wood. And as you can see, the wood on these um, big ones here aren't exactly white, but they do have whitish in them. Okay, this is the uh, bark there. Okay, it's sort of almost. Yeah, sort of like a cork almost. Okay, um, and it normally has lichen. Okay, there's the lichen there. It all it normally has lichen on the uh, the bark growing on the bark of the trees as well. Um, what I'll do is here we go over here. Here's one just over here, and this is probably a better um, thing of the uh, the colour. Okay, I'll try and try and get the colour here. Okay, here's here's the part where you can see where it's um, white. Okay, all right, that, that's a that's a white colour. All right, and that's how you'll recognise it. Okay, actually up here. All right, yeah. Another way of recognising it is the little berries. Okay. Um, you can see the berries here, they grow on the stems, okay, or on the branches, the berries do. They, got, they start off green like this, you can see them, they're sort of green here, okay, um, and then they go grow into a, uh, this is green when they're unripe, and they go purple when they're actually ripe, okay, All right. and you can see they just have a little stem growing off the branch, okay, a little stem growing off the branch. All right, I'll try and get a better one up here. There's a the one a little bit higher. I'll just try and reach up for it. I can reach it. 
Okay, here we go. You can see that. Got a brush going in my eyes. But anyway, let's have a look. So we can try and zoom in here. Okay, so you can see the green ones there. Okay, and they go um, are purple when they're ripe. I'll try and get this couple right up the top there. I'll try and zoom in onto some karaka berries a bit further up. But I'll try and zoom in best I can. Oh geez, I lost it. Ah, never mind. Never mind. We'll try and get in here. There we go. Have a look and see what we can find. Yeah, I can't see any um get any purple ones on camera here, but they those green ones that you've seen anyway. Okay, um, you can see a few black, sort of purpley ones there, okay, but the green ones turn purple anyway, okay. So, what was this used, else was this used for? Mainly for fire, making fire, okay. Um, other things it was used for is the internal bark, okay, so if you get the bark um, underneath the main bark, the internal bark, and you could put that on... Uh, uh, it was good for rheumatism or um, scabies, okay, just apply it to the uh, scabies. And um, another thing that they used was the green leaves here. Um, the green leaves were used for um, uh, making dye, alright. Um, and uh, that's about all I can remember. But the main thing is, is the wood here is the most important. You want to dry it out, okay, get into the wood dry it out, have a flat base, and then you get like a um, tōtara, and we'll do tōtara another day, and tōtara or kaikomako, and you rub into the uh, the mahui, and the mahui, because it's a light wood, would, the fibres would um, break off and the um, from the rubbing, and would heat up and um, burn. Okay, so it's got good burning properties in it, um, and that's why it's one of our most important um, one of our most important trees, the mahui or whitey wood. Uh, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's uh, bush plant. The more plants and trees you know, the more comfortable you feel out in the bush, and um, uh, the better you can survive if if, if needed. Okay. Uh, and we can we don't have to lose the, the knowledge the knowledge that's uh, that that's, that we are losing okay so um, uh, comment uh, subscribe share and um, I hope to uh, see you on the next uh, video thanks thanks for coming along cheers bye bye okay here's a um, better specimen of the uh, mahui or whitey wood um, and as you can see. Uh, it, there's the whiteness there, okay? It stands out pretty, pretty, pretty well, okay? So if you see that whiteness, okay, and, the, and then you get up close and you see those jagged leaves, all right, and alternate um, uh, leaves, all right, then chances are you've got whitey wood, especially if you see those, the little berries growing off the uh, branches that I showed earlier, um, you can guarantee that it's whitey wood, okay, or mahui. Um, and just down below here, um, looks like we've got a bit of um, uh, karaka, uh, correction, um, kawakawa, kawakawa leaves, okay? But uh, we'll cover that, the kawakawa, um, on another, another video. Okay, cheers, bye.